I heard they call Rosina the Desert Hare on account of how little escapes her ears. What's wrong, Gav? It's this gold your uncle gave us. Are you sure it's all right for us to take it? My uncle isn't easily refused, especially where dispersing his wealth is concerned. But 2,000 talents. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how much that is in Gil. It's the price of a quayside mansion in the Crystalline Dominion. He sold one to fund our endeavor. He was hoping to part with it anyway, what with war brewing in the region. And luckily for him, a Samraqua noble was willing to pay over the odds for a foothold in the Holy Emperor's neighborhood. But still, uh, 2,000 talents. I mean, is it normal for nobles to give away that kind of money? It's normal for my uncle. Fuck me. Oh, the other half live, eh? Well, now that we've got a few gills to rub together, do you think it'd be all right if I splashed out on a few bottles of Lost Wings finest? Here, leave some for the rest of us, Otto. If he's filling his cellar, I'm filling our larder, starting with a barrel of the best salt-cured northern salmon. I'll leave you to decide how best to use it. Just don't spend all at once, all right? I heard they call Rosina the Desert Hare on account of how little escapes her ears. That and her habit of bolting at the first sign of danger. But if she knew Sid was looking for her, she might just be tempted back out of her burrow. I've never seen a crate full of gill before, let alone two. Your uncle certainly knows how to make an entrance. <laughs>